from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Automation and robotics provider Yaskawa Motorman opened its doors for a demo day at its Modafontein offices in Johannesburg. Norm Velo Butelezi finds out more about the trends within the automotion and robotics industry. Yaskawa Motorman Sales Director Kurt Rosenberg tells us the importance of holding a demo day. Very important to raise awareness about uh, what robots are about, what's available, um, and more importantly, what customers can actually do and what they can expect robots to do for them. He goes on to say that the future of automation and robotics in South Africa is looking good. We believe very good, very, very positive. Um, if you look at the turnout and the interest of what's actually going on in industry at the moment, uh, the move towards robotics and automation in general is very positive, very strong, and people are beginning to understand that to be competitive in the global markets, there's no other way than to automate. Rosenberg highlights the fact that South African automation and robotics companies need to be more willing to open their doors to students to allow them to experience what the industry has to offer. Very important question that, uh, mostly revolving around education. Um, industry itself already understands robotics to a large extent and automation. More importantly though, to educate, I would say, youngsters, not just university and technicon levels, but in school levels, just to show them what's actually available out there, um, introduce them to what the future is about, and essentially the future is now. Uh, that is what they need to learn, and moving forward they will become the industry leaders, and knowing what they can do just makes life so much easier moving forward for them. Other news making headlines this week, ESCOM eyes African hydropower and transmission prospects and Bladen Zamandi again warns on the dangers of share focused BEE and tenderpreneurs. South African electricity utility ESCOM has finalized a draft African strategy which could result in it taking equity as well as operational positions in generation and transmission projects in the rest of the continent with its primary focus being opportunities in southern Africa. We have as ESCOM an interest certainly to play a role within the region uh, across our full spectrum of capability, uh, the power purchase agreements, uh, uh, the operations of, of entity, the construction and, and uh, as you mentioned, some of the equity issues. Uh, we have not made any firm decisions around this. Uh, certainly Hydro provides unique opportunities for us and we certainly believe that the Mozambican projects are quite high and far advanced. Panda and Kua and Kaborabas and North Bank. Um, but that is the discussion that certainly we would have with our own government and our own shareholder to determine the role we're going to play and how we're going to deal with that. The persuasions of black economic empowerment in the context of an untransformed economy ran the risk of creating a class of compradors or black capitalists who owned shares in companies they could not run and who supported the maintenance of semi-colonial economic structures, says South African Communist Party General Secretary Bladen Zamande. Tenderpreneurs, of course, they hate communists. We hate them too. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> A tenderpreneur is someone who will use his or her position in a political organization or in the state to actually get tenders in a corrupt way. That's a tenderpreneur. Tenderpreneurs are not only within political organizations or the state, even those who are outside in the private sector but who use the same conditions. And in fact, tenderpreneurs is the single biggest threat to genuine entrepreneurs. Because genuine entrepreneurs who try to do business honestly, they get marginalized because they do not have these connections to get the tenders corrupt. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.